Okay, again, uh, my name is Ron Patterson. I go to Western Salem State University, and I'm in the MAT MGM program. It's a Master of Arts in Teaching, Middle Grades Math. And today we're going to talk about geometry. Who knows what geometry is? Or who's heard of geometry? Okay, Rebecca, what's geometry? Very good. That's exactly what the geometry is the study of shapes, signs, uh, angles, things like that. Um, but today we're going to talk about one thing in particular that refers to geometry, and that is congruency or being congruent. Now, who knows what well, it says right here? Congruent uh, means with the same shape or with identical geom geometric shapes. Um, to explain that, if you have two squares, but they have different length size, they're not congruent. Congruent, for this intensive purposes, means equal. Means same size, same length, same angles, um, and the same shape. But today we're gonna to talk about congruent triangles, okay? And how we tell that the two triangles are congruent. Um, one more time. If you see these two triangles right here, they're identical, right? They're very, all the same, same angle, same side. These are also the same, but they're turned differently. But if, if you can rotate this one, or flip it up, or rotate it, it's still the same uh, thing. So that's the most important part of being congruent, is that you can have two separate objects or separate shapes, but if you can turn one so they can fit on top of the other one, they're congruent, okay? Um, same with this one. This is what you call a reflection. Because if you, if you look at that, if there was a mirror here, and we're looking at itself, it would be a reflection. So that's what congruency is. And this one, you can't reflect it, but you can turn it or rotate it to where it becomes a reflection, then you flip it, and then it becomes congruent. Right. Okay? Now, when you have what you call a theory, let's say you see me, what do you say? He says, a big guy, so I'm pretty sure he eats a lot of food, right? That's a theory. Then you test that theory. You say, okay, you find a person that eats a whole lot of food, and you see that it's a big guy. Then that theory becomes what you call a postulate, okay? And that's what they use in geometry to prove things, is a postulate. Something assumed to be true. Or something that is assumed or believed to be true that is used as a basis of an argument or a theory. Now when you get into your higher grades, like ninth or 10th grade, and you start taking geometry then, you're gonna be doing a lot of proofs. And it's awesome. Now I have a 12 year old son who I talk proofs to, and now he proves, or he tries to get me to give him postulates or theories on everything. He'll say, well dad, prove it. You know, which is awesome, because then I have to sit there and prove it to him. Now, a postulate and geometry, when you're pr proving congruency with triangles, you have four distinct postulates, okay? You have SAS, SSS, ASA, and AAS. Who can tell me what those letters stand for, or what you would think when, in, well, re when you refer to triangles? Anyone? Close, but not really. Yes. Say again. What? Okay. Well, those letters actually mean side and angles. Okay. Now you see SAS. That's side, angle, side. So SSS is what? Side, side, side. side. Great. And then ASA is. And AAS is. Very good. Now, the important thing is how the order that they're in. So side, angle, side means go ahead, go ahead. that you have two sides that are congruent, two angles, and then two more sides. Okay? So the side, angle, side, the angle has to be on the inside of those two sides. Okay? So if you have two triangles where you have the first side is congruent, the middle angle is congruent, and the second side is congruent, then the triangle is congruent. You know, a lot of mathematicians got together and said, hey, you know what, if we have two triangles and two of the sides are congruent and the middle angle is congruent, usually the whole triangle is congruent. And so they tested that theory and it became a postulate. Tell me the next one. All right, this is just another example of an SAS. What's the next one? Okay. 
SSS, which means what? Say it again. Side, side, side. So if you have two triangles and all three sides are congruent to the other three sides of the other triangle, then the triangle is what? Congruent. All right? Put the next one. Now you have ASA, which is angle, side, angle. So what does that mean? What, is it, what do you know about the, the angle, the side, and the angle? You have two angles, and the side is what? It's in the middle of those two angles. It has to be in that order. So you have two angles that are congruent, and the side that's in the middle of two angles is congruent, which makes the triangle congruent. Now here's something else that's very important. If you have a triangle, ABC, and here another triangle, this is A naught, B naught, C naught, or whatever it is, you can, let's just say ABC, D, E, F. It has to be triangle ABC if you're going to triangle D, C, F, or D, E, F. You can't say ABC is equal to F, E, D. You know what I mean? It has to be the corresponding angles and sides to the corresponding angles and sides. It's got to be like that. That's how you show congruency. All right, what's the next one? It's the last one. AAS, which is? <coughs> angle, angle, side. Very good. You have two angles and a side. Two angles and a side. If you have that, then you have a congruent triangle. All right? So what two words did we learn today? Congruent and posture. Very good. And what does congruent mean? Equal. Not necessarily equal. With the it's same the same. Side. Keep it. With the same shape. Stand up, keep it. Stand up. Okay. Be very still. Okay. Now step backwards two, two times. All right. And, and lean just a little bit. Okay. He's the exact same person. He's equal to himself. But when he was standing there, he was different to where he is right there. So he's, he's not congruent. It has to be the exact same. If you flip him and turn him like that, he's not the same as he was when he was standing there, if, if that makes sense. So congruent doesn't necessarily mean equal. It means you can flip it and turn it and make it the same. All right, have a seat. All right? And the other one was postulate, right? And what is the postulate? Exactly. All right? And that's it. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Press stop. Press stop.